everyone and coming to you live it's Saturday is our day that we do the exact same thing on Saturday as we do on Sunday as well because we challenge ourselves on these days because we worked really hard Monday through Friday <coughs> excuse me doing different things with our body so we do the exact same thing for our arm challenge just about and we do booty outs on Saturday why because booty outs work <laughs> We definitely do things that work in here. We don't do the same thing all the time, but on Saturdays, we always do booty outs. Why? There's a connection between your hamstrings and your glutes that has to be hit. We are over 35, over 40 years old. Things head south, and you hear me every Saturday talking about that northern booty. It's harder, it's harder as we get older. Our estrogen levels are going down, and we're sitting more because we're, we're at work or we're doing whatever we're doing. We're not as active all the time. And there is a way to reverse that booty going down and that booty packing its bags and going north. And this is, for me, uh, one of the very, very, very best ways to do it for everybody. The only thing is, is you have to be mindful of your form. Because if your form isn't good and you're not hitting that spot, then you're not gonna see results. So I, went, I always go over form every Saturday to make sure that you guys are doing this right, okay? Really, really important. Now, yes, people go into the gym all the time and they do those squats with really heavy weights. But you know what? For me, I was a gymnast my whole life and I have zero pains. I, I'm a marathon runner right now. I'm very fortunate that to be that active and I have no pains. When I go and squat in the gym, give me a week and a half and I have pain. That's my body. You guys are following my body on Fire Fitness Plan. My Body on Fire Fitness Plan means zero chance of getting hurt so that you can rip and shred without having to take some time off and so that you can get this done right here in your house and you don't have to go to a gym. For me, this is the greatest way to get your booty up that I've ever seen. Okay, does the booty work with those heavy weights? Absolutely, it's wonderful. But one thing when you do those, you know, your, your glutes are always, in, sorry, your glutes are always engaged, but so are your thighs. So every time you come down like this and you're lifting all these heavy weights, I don't know if you can see my muscles here, but my quads are engaged, right? And I don't want that every single time. I personally don't want that. There's nothing wrong with doing that, but everything all the time, and we do so many things to get our quads engaged. It's so wonderful just to focus on that one area so that that's what you're doing. And that is, again, the connection between your hamstrings and your glutes, and that connection is your key to getting your booty to pack its bags and head north, okay? So watch how we do this, okay? Really, really important. You've got a wall right in front, and I always say this too, there's a wall right in front, so your knees can't go forward. Your booty just goes back. Say, well, Lindsay, your chest is coming down. My chest is coming down because I'm balancing. If I just put my booty back, I'm gonna fall backwards. If I just put my chest down, I'm gonna fall forward. If I do both at the same time, all my weight is evenly distributed onto my heels. Okay, so we are on our heels, ready? Everybody put your toes up, all right? Stick your booty back and come back, okay? Now I'm down here, look at my body here. Okay guys, look, my toes are up, my knees, watch again, ready? My knees are exactly over my ankles. Okay, so everybody try that, right? Look down, knees are over your ankles because you wanna kiss the wall behind you or whatever's behind you with your booty. Kiss it and bring your chest down, okay? Really, really key, guys, there's certain things that we can do to combat what gravity does for us as we get older. We're not letting it happen. Oh no, sorry, Bob, because we don't have to. You don't have to succumb to this. No way. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do this for 100. We're gonna come down as low as you can go. Look at your form. Knees have to be over your ankles, not your toes, your ankles. So your booty's back. Your chest is down, your booty's that way. You're gonna hang on here and you're gonna pulse. When you pulse, you're gonna feel, touch it right here, this connection right here. That's all you should feel. Yes, you're gonna feel a little bit in your thighs just because you're bending down, but the majority of the strain that you're gonna feel and the tension you're gonna feel, right when you lift those toes up, come down, you're gonna feel it right between that connection. Keep doing it until you actually feel it. If you cannot get this feeling, please instant message me and I will check out your booty on, <laughs> I'm serious, <laughs> on uh, Facebook or FaceTime and we will work it out, okay? Here we go, and I'll, I'll take a peek and correct you. So we're gonna go down and pulse for 100, over to this side for 100, over to that side for 100. 
Now, listen here. I know there's a lot of people that have been doing this every week for me. So I want you people that have done this already to grab your weights. You're just going to hold them. We're adding 10 pounds. You can add 16 if you want. You, I'm adding 10 pounds for me, which is going to be a lot because these booty outs, I feel in the morning, big time. Every Saturday and every Sunday, I do this every Saturday, every Sunday I wake up and I feel them and Monday I feel them again. And my husband knows I'm doing it without me even mentioning because my booty always goes up. <laughs> if I don't do these for two weeks, it's very noticeable. It's amazing. This is such a phenomenal exercise. You just have to make sure that you are doing it correctly. <clears throat> Weights for those who just uh, or have done this at least three times. If you have not, please don't use your weights, okay? I want you to concentrate more on your form. All right, guys, are you ready? Here we go. Ready? On your heels, bring your toes up. Oh, and toes are never on the ground. Okay, I'm on my heels, my booty's back, my chest is down. I'm going to go a little bit lower, and I'm pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, going 100. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Feel all right. One, two, three. Look down, check your form. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, thirty. The tiny little pauses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Hi, Tony. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Make sure you're low enough. One, two, three, four. So you're feeling it only there. Six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three. Get your booty out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. You should feel it right in your booty, a tiny bit in your quads, but not as much as in your booty. Okay, now one leg. This leg that you see me tapping right here is a stabilizing leg. It's just down there, my tippy tippy toes, to keep my balance. My booty is going to go either kitty corner or straight back, whatever allows you to stay on your heel with your toe up and your knee not going forward. Okay, here we go. You ready, guys? Go. One for 50. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on fire. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Toe up. One, two. No weight on this one. Three, four, five. Five, all your weights on that one leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two. It's horrible, an amazing way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Unbelievable. Make sure you're on all of your weight is on the foot that we're working, okay, with one that the butt is sticking out. There's no weight on this foot. All of it, I mean all of it, it makes the difference. You wanna, you gotta work your butt off to get your butt up. <laughs> Here we go, you ready guys? Lean back, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Look at your form, feet are up. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. That is awesome. You should be totally feeling this. Okay, guys, back to the center. Here we go. Look down, bend, bend down. Look down at your form. My toes are up. My heels are. My ankles, I'm sorry, my knees are directly above my ankles. Look down, guys, make sure. And here we go. One, two, three, stick it out. Four, five, six, booty back, booty back, booty back. Ten, one, two, three, just stick it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, woo, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, and ten. Woo! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so the ten pounds for me, I've never done it with weights. The ten pounds for me, I am feeling it ten times more. I hope you guys are too. Like big time in my booty. I'm certainly gonna feel these tomorrow. It's some it's funny because these are so they look so non-invasive and so we're just pulsing. I cannot wait for you guys to feel what your booty feels like in the morning. It's amazing. It's, it's not until you step. You step out of bed and you're like, what? It's amazing. Just these little, little moves that we discovered that make a huge difference. Huge. I have a client named Heather. Hi, Heather. And she knows who she is. I kept asking her, what the heck are you doing? And you know, she works out with me and she said, well, what the heck are you doing? You know, we're doing the lunges, the this, the that. You know, and I see her twice a week and she does uh, the stuff in here. And then she said, Lindsay, I'm doing extra booty outs all the time. I'm like, no way. I can tell you, she has the greatest butt I've ever seen in my life. And it just goes to show you that it, that it is the most amazing, amazing exercise. So stay with me, guys. If you're having a problem with your booty heading north, uh, south, then do these more often like Heather does. You have to do them like three, maybe three, four times a week. It doesn't even take that long. Do them at night before you go to bed. It is, the difference is amazing. My husband notices in a week, in a week, sometimes two, but in a week, literally. It's, and he'll say to me, well, you're, you've been doing booty outs. <laughs> That's really what he says to me. He knows what they're called. He loves them. <laughs> you ready? On your heel, toe up. All your weight is on the, he the heel that you're on. All of it. I mean, there's no weight on this one, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two. Look down. Make sure your form is all right, okay? Eight, nine, thirty, one. Lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Switch it over. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Look at your form. Five, six. Toe is or knee is definitely over your ankle only. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's excellent, guys. We are gonna do one more round, okay? Normally we just do one more round of a hundred. We're gonna do one more round of a hundred in the beginning, in the center, fifty, fifty, and one more hundred. Okay, we're just gonna add a little bit to it. If you've got your weights and you're too tired, put your weights down. If you're not challenged yet, which is very hard to believe, if you're not, grab your weights for the last round. Okay, guys, here we go. And one, two, look down. Your knees are over your ankles only. You are on your heels. The balls of your feet aren't on the ground. The only thing that's on the ground is your heels, okay? Here we go, 20, one, two, lower, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, lower, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, stick your booty out, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. Booty up. Two, three, four, five. Like you're kissing the back wall. Seven, eight, nine, ninety, ten. Woo! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. You ready? On the side, guys. Stick that booty up. The booty's got to go back, not up and down. Back and forth, back and forth, okay? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Look down, guys. Make sure your knee is over your ankle and that there's nothing on the floor except for your heel. Okay, here we go. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 40, one, two, three, four, my booze on fire, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. Ah, oh, that was amazing. Okay, guys, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. I've never known the weights. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Form chat. Look down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's very good, guys. Okay, give it a second. The last one. Now you're saying to yourself, Lindsay, my lower back is bugging me. If your lower back's really, really bothering you right now, stretch it out for a second. But you're engaging your lower back because you have to arch to get your booty back and forth and not up and down. So you're definitely engaging your lower back. Now, if it, it's bothering you too much, tilt your pelvis in like this when you're doing it, okay? So here, instead of being out like this, tilt it in, okay? So instead of being out like that, tilt it in, okay? And that'll really take the pressure off your lower back. But I promise you, this is actually working your lower back. But if it is too much, you have to know your own body and know when to stop and to stretch out and to tilt it in and around your back instead of coming down with it sticking out, okay? Here we go, ready? Booty out on your heels. No, nothing is on the floor other than my heels. I'm looking down. My and knees are directly over my ankles. Are you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. On your heels. One. Look down. Plunge up. Three, four, five, six. On fire. Seven, eight. Modern fire fitness. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put those weights down. Ah. That booty's on fire, your back is on fire, your quads are eh, they shouldn't be so much on fire. Guys, stretch out that booty right now. Take a seat for the number four, push it down. Let me move back so you can see me. Head here, push it down. Awesome. Stretch out that, you're pushing down on this knee. Go to the other side. Then we move on to our arm challenge. Guys, grab a drink if you need a drink. Just make sure you stretch this out. It's awesome. And come on down, stretch your back out for a second. There we go. Hold on, stay there. Come all the way down and just take a nice deep breath here. Ooh, that feels good, right? All right, <laughs> are we ready? This is all defining what we're about to do. This is an arm challenge. We do the same one relatively. We have been doing the same one um, for at least a month now, if not maybe a little bit more, only on a Saturday. We mix everything up during the week for arms. We do bands, we do floor, but this one in particular, I like to do um, over and over again. And if you're finding it easy, all you have to do is add your, your um, uh, get a, a larger weight. And the reason I like to do this one is because this addresses every single part of your arms, number one. Number two, I still have a slew of people telling me how sore their arms are in this, which means that I'm not ready to move forward yet. And the only time you, the only thing we have to do to move forward in this is up to you, is to change your weights and make them one pound heavier. And if you only can go to five to eight, that's fine. But if you have sixes, go to sixes. If you have sevens, go to sevens. Um, and uh, from fives, I mean. And if you are starting off with threes, it's very wise. If you have threes and you're brand new to the group, three would be the place to be to start. And if you have fives and, you're, and you've been working out for a long time, 
by all means grab the fives but have your three threes handy if you've done five many times like I have grab your eights and then keep your fives handy because I'm pretty positive that you're gonna want to switch okay so are you ready here we go grab your weights okay these are long and boring guess what people it gives you nice strong arms I don't lift heavy weights the most I lift is five pounds why do I have muscles like this um, because I eat very well I eat enough protein to build muscles and I do this constantly everything you guys are doing with me right now is what I do stick with me I can change your body okay here we go we are doing bicep curls only but I want you guys to go to straight arm once again just a reminder straight arm means that you're gonna get a lift from the insertion part of your bicep and you get that bump here we're in it for definition here okay guys this is spot turning All right here we go Are you ready 20 one two three four your knees are bent and your abs are tight okay six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty and one one okay double it up all the way down ready here we go one one and down two two and down to a straight arm three three straight arm four four five five six six seven seven getting heavy eight eight nine nine ten ten up two down so all the way up one two one one two okay two one two three one two four one two five one two six one two seven one two eight one two nine one two and ten one two twenty plain one we're topping it off it's the last one two in the biceps uh section <laughs> three Four should be on fire. Five with five pound weights. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two and one good take a second that was really good guys you should feel big time in your biceps right now you should feel like they're pumped up because that's what it feels like it feels like they're bulging right it's very good if you need to put your weights down for a second shake out your arms go ahead and do that um, it's gonna get ugly in a great phenomenal amazing way so you may as well take your time in here and shake it out all right now guys what we're moving is we're gonna punch it forward okay so grab your weights the top of your weight meets the top of your shoulder okay we're gonna do it together here you really have to squeeze your abs and you really have to bend your knees because I don't want your body to move I just want your arms to move and it makes it very difficult if you can't stabilize yourself so really stabilize yourself by squeezing your abs here we go one two three four elbows to the side five six seven eight nine ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two one let's double it up you ready one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten 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 nine nine eight eight seven seven six six five five four four three three I messed it up two two and one one it's okay you just have to do 20 now okay you ready 20 19 we just didn't change direction 18 but it's the same thing 17 it's just to get your mind off it 16 15 14 13 on fire 12 11 fight 10 squeeze your abs 9 8 7 6 you're gonna feel your lats here 5 4 3 two and one put it down unbelievable all right it's that connection right here your hand your 
hamstring, where the top of your bicep meets your shoulder. Really, really good. Stretch it out for a second. Awesome, okay? In five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights. We are lifting forward, okay? So, thought my palms are facing down, my elbows are slightly bent so that we save our elbow joint. If it's solidly bent and you have slight hyperextension, meaning you go past straight, even if it's just bent, all that pressure when you lift your weight goes into your joint and not into the muscle that's supposed to be lifting it, okay? So really, really important to keep a slight bend, but you still lift from your elbow and not from, I'm sorry, still lift from your shoulder and not from your elbow, okay? So you wanna lift from your shoulder. All right, here we go. Easy for me to say, apparently not. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Slight bend, don't let your weights hit. We are on the rise. Here we go. 10, we're going for 20. Two, three, four. Stabilize yourself by squeezing your abs and bending your knees. Squeezing your booty. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You ready for two up? Here we go. One, one, and down. Two, two, and down. Three, three, and down. Four, four, and down. Five, five, and down. Six, six, and down. Seven, seven, and down. Eight, eight, and down. Nine, nine, and down. 10, 10, and down. Up, two, down. Ready? One, one, two. And guys, if you can't keep up, don't worry about it. Okay, we change our, uh, our uh, my arms each time, so you don't have to worry about it. If you have to skip one, do every other one. Okay, because our positions keep changing. So you get time to rest, so go every other one. I have a lot of clients that I work with live that do every other one, because this is really hard. Okay, guys? Nine, one, two. 10, one, two. Let's take five seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, should be on fire, 16, 15, 14, squeeze those abs, 13, 12, 11, I'm sweating, 10, nine, come on, eight, count with me, almost done guys, seven, fight, six, you got it, five, you gotta fight for things, Four, three, two, we're gonna put them down. One and put them down. That's excellent. If you have a wall, go ahead and stretch it on the wall. It's this area right here that you're gonna be stretching, okay? If you have a wall, stretch here. Amazing, give it a few seconds to let your arms kind of relax. You can shake it out, do whatever you need to do. Then we're gonna pick it up and work for our triceps. The triceps are right here. This is the area that kind of jiggles as we get a little bit older, it kind of jiggles. Uh, and it's really easy to tighten up. It's just persistence and, and consistency. Um, and we do enough during the week in here to make that area tighter. So stick with me. If you do have an issue and you wanna work more on one particular area, there's people that like, you know, that have some spots. Like for me, I always wanna work my saddlebags and I always wanna work my booty. Now, of course, I know that just working the lower half really, really, really takes off a layer, but when I wanna tighten it and lift it and that I spot train, and spot train is the best way to do. Right now we're spot, spot training for our arms, our biceps, our deltoids, our backs a little bit, and our uh, triceps. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, for me, it's my booty, always, and my uh, saddlebag area. I try to really tighten that up all the time. So I do those a little bit more than uh, just once a week. So if there's an area that's bothering you, make sure that you hit that area more than uh, twice a week, try and hit it three times minimum, okay? And they're light, these, are, these exercises are so easy and so non-invasive, if you will, and they work insanely, okay? <laughs> All right guys, put one foot in front of the other. Hack it up like you're doing a hammer curl, Just kick it back, ready? Look at this looks like, kick it back, okay? So once you get it back, you gotta raise it, all right? Here we go, make sure you come up to a hammer curl. Ready, hammer curl, back one and up, two and up, three and up, four and up, five and up, six and up, seven and up, eight and up, nine, good guys, 10, squeeze those abs, 
one, my back leg is straight, my front leg is bent, two, three, I'm slightly leaning over, four, squeeze your abs, five, six, seven, should be burning the back of your arms, eight, make sure you lift it, nine, ten, and here we go, one, lift, and in, two, lift, and in, three, lift, and in, four, lift, and in, five, lift, and in, excellent, six, lift, and in, seven, lift, and in, eight, lift, and in, nine, lift, and in, ten, lift, and in. Now lift, two in, okay? Lift, one, two. Right to a hammer curl, right to the top of your shoulders. Two, one, two, excellent. Three, one, two. Four, one, two. Five, one, two. Six, one, two. Seven, one, two. Eight, one, two. Nine, one, two. Ten, one, two. Good, now 20, go. One, lift at the back. Two, go past straight. Three, lift those weights up. Four, really tiny. You're gonna feel in the front of your shoulders too. Five, burning out. Six, good. Seven, you just to a burnout point. Eight, they're light weights, it's cool. Nine, not all defining. Ten, ten more. Ten, squeeze your abs. Nine, you got it guys. Eight, lift in the back. Seven, six, five, pump it up. Four, three, lift it, lift it, burn. Two, and one, put them down. <coughs> You, now this is gonna feel really good. Go over here, guys. That feels so good. You know, you felt that a bit in the front, but mostly in the back of your arms. You feel a little bit in your deltoids right in here. Gives you a nice cut. Okay, guys, calm down for a second. Bring it down. Get a drink of water if you need a drink of water. There's no abs today because I am beating the daylights out of you tomorrow with an amazing abs session, okay? We're gonna do 10 tens all the way down for everything. 10 tens, 9 nines, 8 eights. Yes, yeah, boring as heck. And let me tell you, you want a six pack? You want a flat stomach? I got you covered. Just don't expect the party, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's all good. All right, guys, you're gonna grab your weights. Are you ready? Here we go. Goal post time, all right? We're doing shoulders, shoulders, and shoulders. All right, here we go, you're a goal post. Don't go down here, don't go up here. Just stay here for your baseline, and then you can go up from here, okay, ready? Here we go, squeeze your abs and bend your legs. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, Six, you guys are doing amazing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, oh, one, one, two, two, three, three. Come on, guys. Four, four, five, five, six, six. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, five, four, three, two, one, all the way up, two down. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten, one, two, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, guys, now you're doing all the way up to 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, fight. Eight, I know it's hard. Seven, fight. Six, do every other one if you have to stop. Five, four, three, two, and one. Un Believable, right? Put your weights down if you need to put your weights down. Take a second, we gotta take a break here. And make sure that you guys are a-okay. How are we doing? Okay, we're entering into the two hardest ones. And the two hardest ones are going to be out to the side and up to the side. Um, and we'll add a tricep in between, okay? So here, you're gonna be right here. Don't go yet, I just want you to take a peek. You're gonna bend your elbows slightly, okay? Stop. Bend your knees, stick your, your booty in and squeeze it and squeeze your abs really, really hard. Okay, you gotta get your mind off what you're about to do. You're gonna raise it up and come down. After every segment of this session, of this position, I will take a break because I uh, need it, <laughs> okay? 
even with five pounds. Every time I do this, this does not get easier for me. Okay, here we go. One and down, slightly bent elbows, but you're coming directly off your hips. Two, three, perfectly to the side. Four, squeeze your abs. Five, six, seven, amazing. Eight, don't have your shoulders up, have them down. Nine, 10, 10 more, seemingly easy. 10, nine, you hit 15 and cry. Eight, seven, six, here, now it's hard for me. Five, fight guys. Four, yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Three, two, and one. Take five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's double it up. One, one, and down. Two, two, and down. Three, three, and down. Four, four, and down. Five, five, and down. Six, six, and down. Seven, seven, woo! Eight, eight, nine, nine and 10, 10, unbelievable. You're gonna go up, two, down, and five, four, so you like to challenge, three, two, one, go. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, 10, one, two, beautiful. Take a second, let your arms hang. Okay, woo! Right? Wait until you're done with your arms feel like <laughs> it's unbelievable. Okay, guys, now we're doing 20. Take a deep breath. Count out loud with me. Squeeze your abs, bend your knees. Here we go. We got this, right? One, two, three. I hear a cat crying. Four is mine. Five, woo! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. And one, put it down. Woo! Unbelievable, right? Guys, if you have a wall, this is what you're doing, okay? You gotta turn your shoulder down, all right? Definitely try and do that right now. Take a stretch for one second before we add on the last one. Two more, okay? Last ones. Um, and then you're gonna feel great. This will be over. You guys are doing amazing. I'm so proud of you guys because these are not easy. And the fact that you keep coming back to me on Saturdays for this challenge is insane. Wait and give me another couple weeks and wait and see what your arms look like. It's crazy how fast this stuff works if you stick with it. You gotta stick with it. I don't have that quick fix or that cookie-like that cookie uh, -like diet that people have like that. I, what is the cookie diet or things like that or things that are gonna get your weight off extraordinarily fast. But what I do have is a method that sheds layers and will help shed and shred your body um, over a period of time where you really see a huge difference. Hand made by you. Very different than when you have something helping you because when you take that something away, things go back and they go back often with a little extra because you killed your adrenal glands. So really, really important to do it the right way. Why? Because we want it off for life. That's the bottom line. You know, if you do, or if you're on a crash diet because you're in a wedding or you've got something going to, totally different. But I'm talking about to get fit for life, to have, to get shredded, to get a six pack, to get an upward northern booty, tight legs. It's gonna take a little bit, but you can do it at home, right? You can do it at home, and you know what? Taking time to yourself, like I said yesterday, when you take this time for you, my goodness, your life is different. I am telling you, you when you fall in love with yourself, and I don't mean they have an ego fall in love, I mean fall in love with yourself where you start taking care of yourself, everything in your life will change. You won't accept crap from anybody because you don't accept crap from yourself. You only get what you accept for yourself in life. So if you're accept, accepting yucky things in your life, like not taking care of yourself, you know it. Not taking care of yourself, not eating well, not uh, uh, doing the right things for you, not giving yourself the time you need to be you, all of those things is what you're gonna get back from every other individual in your life. Every person, uh, trust me, when they see you respecting yourself, you're not gonna get anything less because you won't accept it, and that's the bottom line. You won't accept it when you start taking care of yourself, so take care of you, because you know what? You deserve to be the happiest person on the planet. You have to take care of you. Okay, and life will change, and I'm here to help. Okay, good rest, right guys? Hammer curls, we know what those are, right? Hammer curls, 
okay? We did bicep curls, now hammer curls, okay? Bend down and you can turn a little bit out to the side, okay? So not straight up, out to the side, addressing just a little bit different uh, muscles than the first time, okay? Here we go. One and straight, two, three, these seems like a walk in the park, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, you should be tired, I know you are, six, seven, just push with me, okay, eight, nine, and twenty, good, double it up, ready, and go, one, one, and down, two, two, and down, three, three, and down, four, four, and down, five, five, and down, six, six, and down, seven, seven, and down, eight, eight, and down, nine, nine, and down, ten, ten, and down, up, two, down, up, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten, one, two, here's twenty, one, two, I got an itch, three, horrible itch, four on my face, five, six, ah, seven, that's torture, eight, nine, and ten, you got ten left, ten, don't swing, like I just was, nine, oh, eight, seven, six, oh, that's better, five, ah, it's worse, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was, it was a hair tickling me or something. Okay, guys, take a second. We're doing our last one. The last one's probably one of the hardest. We're going straight out. So you're going to grab your weights and go straight out. In. Elbows are behind you, and then you push it out, okay? Let's give it five seconds before we start. And then you grab. Your arms should feel like they are 5,000 pounds. Even your forearms. Okay, your forearms, feel it. You should be tight. This muscle here should be tight. Feel it, everything. Everything should be slightly tight and completely pumped up. Completely feeling like they weigh four billion pounds. It's fab. Here we go. You ready, guys? It's a lot of movement. Now, yes, you can do this with less uh, uh, reps and more weights, but you take a chance of getting hurt and you have to go to a gym if you have need 20, 25 pounds of weights. And we want long, lean muscles, lean skillar women. This is how you do, this is how you do it. You ready? Here we go. Elbows in. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, seemingly easy. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ready? Double it up. And here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Out, two, in. Five, four, three, two, one. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, Five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, fight. Nine, one, two, ten, one, two. Woo! Okay, 20 left. This is the final countdown, guys. Count with me, okay? Let's rejoice in the fact that we are almost done. Here we go, ready? Elbows are behind me. Weights are here. We are off for the last 20 of the evening. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, see you later. I don't wanna see those again for a while. That was great. You guys are amazing. High five. My sound effects come over here. Excellent, so good. And the other side. Really good arm workout, guys. You're on your way if you don't have it already to getting definition. Um, this is really gonna help to find you. Grab and lift. Again, put your hand, fingertips facing away from you, and turn and turn your shoulder down. 
That's gonna get you good against the wall. Okay, don't forget to stretch. Wait, I'm showing you, I don't have the wall to show you guys. Um, don't forget to stretch. It was amazing to see you on this Saturday. Tomorrow is going to be our um, ab challenge. Really difficult, really good. If you guys are looking to get uh, a six pack, this is how you do it. If you're looking to flatten your stomach, this is how you do it. If you're looking to strengthen your back, actually you really don't strengthen your back, what you do is you strengthen your core, which takes the pressure off your back because um, to hold you, your body erect, a lot of people have weak cores. When you have a weak core, your back takes on the onus because they're the opposing muscles. So you wanna make sure, and all my people know this because I say the same thing all the time, <laughs> you wanna make sure that this core is tight. We have you know, back aches and back problems happen as we get older for whatever sedentary reasons perhaps, or whatever reason, it's usually because your core is not strong. So let's strengthen this core and let's get some nice cuts out of it and let's get some nice flat stomachs out of it. So it's got a three part uh, purpose to it, which is kind of yummy. All right guys, and I um, wanna remind you to take care of yourself, make sure you're eating right, make sure that you have enough protein when you come to these classes that I can actually build your muscles. And I don't mean make them big, I mean make them dense so that they become fat burning machines for you. A diet without protein is building a brick house without bricks. Can't do it. Okay? I love you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, private message me. And I mean that. And if you've already done it, you know that I mean that. I am here for you. It's hard times for everybody. Not everybody can afford a personal trainer. Not everybody has time when your kids are home for a personal trainer. And not everybody has uh, the desire to go to a gym. Um, I'm one of them. So I get it. And so you have to do what you can to give back to the world, a world that's been extraordinarily good to me so far. So this is my gift to you during this time. And I am honored to serve you. So please give me a shout and let me see what I can do for you. Okay, guys? Also, please, um, I'm sharing my life on Instagram, basically, of you know the things that I eat, the things that I do, a little bit of uh, my other careers. I am an actress, I'm a producer, and um, I do a lot of brand ambassadoring and some modeling, and some I'm a photographer, so I do some really fun things. So if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I'll put a little post in here. I would love to see you on there, and then I can follow you back and get to know you guys just a little bit better uh, if you're on Instagram, too. So that would be a really good uh, relationship and a fun connection. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. I love you. Happy Saturday night. Watch Saturday night live tonight. It's funny.